So this is a video to show you how to print something with the Lulzbot Mini 2 3D printer. Uh, we just did a video on uh, taking a part from Thingiverse or one of your own design and uh, downloading that through Cura into a sliced object, actually as a G-code file. And now we have our uh, Lulzbot Mini 2 3D printer here. All I've done is turned it on. I want to check that our build plate down here is nice and smooth. Uh, that's all cleaned off and smooth. That's great. If we look at our little LCD uh, interface here, you can see that it says Lulzbot or Mini 2 ready. But what I like to do is I like to start out and uh, all I did there is just press the button. So press the button. And I'm going to actually rotate down to temperature. And now that I'm at temperature, I'm going to press temperature and go down to nozzle. And I like to get the nozzle of this nice and hot. Uh, what happens is as these are sitting, all of the plastic cools inside the machine. And that then allows it to harden up. Um, and I would like to get that nice and liquidy before I go to uh, start doing my print. So I usually increase the temperature to about 240 or so degrees. I set it right at 240, but if I had it at 235 or even 250, I'd be okay there. And I just push the button and I can go back to main. And what it'll show me if I go to the info screen is that this nozzle is changing from 36, 40, and it's going up to 240 right now. So I'm going to leave that and let that uh, heat up. Meanwhile, <clears throat> I'm going to take my SD card from the file that I just uh, downloaded uh, from the Cura program, and I got my little SD card. And if I go over here to the side of the machine, I can see where I have um, this little slot here to put my SD card in. The SD cards have a sticker on one side and that sticker should point away from you. And you just slide it in there. You can see on the uh, LCD readout it says card inserted. And so that nozzle is still heating up. Um, as it does that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just a little bit about the uh, 3D printer and tell you some of its functions and, and what all these things do. You can see up top that we have a uh, roll of polylight PLA. That's the kind of plastic that we use. And that roll of PLA then goes down into this extruder down here. And so here is our, uh, where this, it goes into the extruder. Whoops, a little movement there. And it goes through this little clamp and there's a little gear here on the side. So that gear uh, will turn as it is printing. Gets really hot down inside there and it's currently going to be getting up to about 240 degrees. And then that will then come down through that little nozzle and the, that thing that you're looking at there is called the print head and it will squirt that molten plastic out as it moves back and forth over the plate. So let's go back. Uh, this is now heated up. And so now we should be looking at our uh, LCD interface here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now push the button and I'm going to choose. Oops, got to move the camera around. So I'm going to push the button and then I'm going to scroll down to print from SD. I'm going to push the button and you can see that file, the first one there, the, it's always the most recent ones on top. That one there says tetrahedron. I'm going to push the button. Oops, push the button so you hear a beep. And now the magic starts happening. Uh, this particular 3D printer, uh, what it will do is it will um, start, and you see there's some plastic oozing out of there because it's nice and hot. That's not a bad thing at all. 
Um, what it's going to do is it's actually now going to cool that nozzle. So we got some of that stuff cleared out and that um, print head is going to come down and it is going to uh, be zeroing in on these little four corners and that allows it to figure out if this table is level and then it's going to uh, start printing the object in there. So what I would want to do is I would want to come in and check this uh, in about 10 minutes, make sure everything's going fine, and then periodically through the print. This should only take about an hour and 15 minutes to print, but uh, still it's a good idea to check it as the, progress, uh, as the progress goes. When you're all done, then you remove your uh, print from the print bed. You might use a chisel uh, to just kind of pry up a corner and then it'll pop off. Um, if it is really resistant to pop off, then what you could do is you could go back into the temperature settings and you could increase the temperature of the bed. In other words, that build plate, that glass plate that everything prints on, and that will allow it to pop off of there a little bit better. Once you're all done, make sure it's nice and cleaned off and then you can turn it off by just pushing the button over here on the left. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.